Ramsey. This is the SEC on ESPN. 56 degrees, clear skies, lights are on, and everybody's home in College Station, Texas. School record 14th consecutive sellout for the ninth ranked Aggies. 82,000 will fill Kyle Field tonight. A couple of old Big 12 pals get together to close out the regular season here in the SEC. And here's the story. It will be Alabama, Georgia in the final. As a voter, I want to see Johnny Manziel. We've seen the highlights, and there have been very, very many highlights this year for Johnny Manziel. 16 senior Aggies will play in their final game at Kyle Field. And looking for a special evening tonight. Williams fumbled the kickoff. It is picked up at the five-yard line. And brought out just across the... At least for the next hour plus, will be on number two in the maroon. Johnny Manziel, but he ends up there. Kristen Michael, and Michael breaks it out across the 35. They rip off a huge chunk on the first play for scrimmage. Second down and nine upcoming. The Aggies have been brilliant on their opening drive all season long. Little screen off to Michael that time, and he's out to midfield. He has a running motion that it doesn't look like he's gaining as much yardage as he is, but he sure is. Five wide receivers, as you'd expect. Manziel will throw, and it's there, and it's caught. Down to the five-yard line. Kenrick McNeil. And AM is off to a brilliant start. They've scored first in every game this season, and they're on their way. They'll throw it, but it was good coverage. Eighth play of this drive. On the option, Manziel will give it up for the easy touchdown. Kristen Michael, his 11th touchdown of the season, fitting the senior scores first here in Kyle Field tonight. Position at any level, he's got to have it on the back of his jersey as well. Kendall Lawrence is the star tailback for Missouri. Difficult to tell what this team would have been like with all those guys. Low snap, Bergstresser picks it up, has some running room for a second, but that gap was closed quickly by Jonathan Stewart. Football. Well, we hope you enjoy watching the, how to be a Heisman favorite right now. He's got the football. Johnny Manziel and on the run, able to throw and complete to Mike Evans. And they get the it was on the edge of launching, but you usually see that call. Quarterback draw Manziel will take off and duck his head down to the 30-yard line. Flushed out of the pocket to his left before he across his body wide open. And I do mean wide open and still on his feet is Malcolm Kennedy down to the three-yard line. You're going to burn all your energy. Second effort, did he get there? There's the signal. Touchdown, Ben Molina. Ah, oh, the touchdown from two yards away. And they're an extra point Johnny away. Johnny Manziel has broke numerous records already. And look out. Look out, Cam Newton. Stop to look at about six guys the day I vote. I always break out my board, and he'll be on there. And drop. Wow, speaking of that drop, Spencer Neely. Who came in with four can throw that. They start with very good field position off the play action. Manziel able to complete right on the target to Mike Evans. The freshman don't talk to the media. Manziel will take off on some running room, tries to make one of those patented moves. Oh boy, he grabbed his knee. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, EJ was... Gaines got him. E.J. Gaines was holding on to Manziel's left leg as Manziel went to try to get more yardage. And right when he tried to pull his left leg out from the grip of Gaines, he immediately winced and went down. As you can hear, the stadium has gone silent. Not on the field and in what, a prone position. And what they're doing right now is a stress test on his knee. You can see they're moving the knee to see if there's any ligament damage. Standing on top of you just saw Jameel Showers checks in at quarterback now for AM. And on the first play, it's Kristen Michael breaking away for the touchdown. Second touchdown of the game for Michael. That goes for 38 yards. So now I think the question becomes as it's starting to look a little easy for AM, no matter who's at quarterback, when you can run it like that. Ball spotted at the 34. The roll to his right. And 
can now throw, and it's knocked away. Would have been good enough for the first down, but good coverage on the senior season. Showers puts him in the football, and it is caught for the first down. Mike Evans on the receiving end. First play to start the second quarter is a screen from Manziel to Ben Molina. With all sorts of green in front of him, he's returned. He's shown everything already. The stop, drop, and pass. He's run. He's been tackled. And he's thrown a touchdown pass to his favorite target, Ryan Swope, the senior, on senior night. Three receivers to Birch Dresser's right, and he'll look to the left and throw it for a first down. And the ball is loose. And Texas A&M has it. Or they're going to say incomplete pass. Marcus Lucas. Replay shows it was a fumble before the player went down. Therefore, it's Texas A&M's ball at the 46-yard line. Defensive player. I don't think they should have, but it was very close. Short gain on second and seven. Here's Manziel picking up the first down and many more yards. Down to the 24-yard line. Chilling process with a red chip freshman Johnny Manziel. Manziel trying to spit out of traffic there. Nearly caught from behind. Makes the throw for another highlight kind of touchdown. Mike Evans there. And the Manziel show alive and well. The Heisman battle will take place on the field there. No company for Manziel here tonight. Spencer Neely, another. And he missed the better part of the series. <laughs> Got plenty of time now. Now under a little duress and throws. And of course, he completes to Malcolm Kennedy. That ball's going to be picked off. That's something they'll try to clean up. You don't want that throw too off. Manziel zips it in there. Again, it's Malcolm Kennedy. And he's inside the 25. Kennedy. That they can't get in and have a serious conversation about playing ball here. Look at the time. Johnny Football still has the football. There's the right leg that time. Gets out of that. Tried on their feet. Manziel on his feet. Touchdown! Of course it is! Ozuma Wachaku on the receiving end of that one. I'm, I'm sticking with you, so what, <laughs> where you go, I go. Oh, the fake punt! And plenty of running room. Trey Barrow inside the 40 of A. Second and 15 from the 30. Birch Dresser zips one across the middle. It is complete down to the goal line. Spend another timeout if you're going to use up all that time. They hand it off again down to the goal line and in. And Missouri is on the scoreboard with Ken a week ago with a, a 40 point lead. Now it's at 42 7 as we hit the half. We throw it on the other side. Knowing you're down big right from the get go, knowing you almost have to pass at all times. Except when you hand off and do this. Kendall Lawrence racing down the sideline. The fake here is hard at this long a distance for the first. From 43 yards away, did he get it? He got it. Third down conversions. That also is 100%. Here's Manziel now. Feeling some of the heat. Doing what he does best. The mobility and throwing on the run and completing the swoop. Gets a block from Molina and able to turn the corner. Wow. Over 100 in this game and they are well on their way to that. Under eight minutes now. Clock ticking away. Third quarter, 42 to 10. And it's Manziel on the run and throwing a perfect spiral. Knocked out of bounds at the 30 is Durrell's ponder trailing on the throw across the middle that he got there just a touch early. With a reverse. Throwing to Manziel that was just behind him. Gaines looks gassed, by the way, and it's certainly understandable. Here's Manziel, a little quarterback draw, try the right side, 10. Did he get there making it look easy, untouched. His first rushing touchdown of the game to go along with three passing touchdowns. And if he was the favorite of the Heisman coming into tonight, even that much more so now. Third down and seven. Bergstress with behind his intended target and nearly picked off by Dustin Harris. Enjoyed watching him. I think this might be it for the regular season. 
And he heard some good helmet cracking there. Trey Williams, so fast, has the sideline. One man to beat, and he can't beat him. Raylan Webb, the last man to knock him out of bounds, gain a 41. To push him over 50 yards, 50 points on the scoreboard. Oh, yeah. It's all good for AM. Taylor, he's got some 60,000 followers on Twitter. And that's not an issue, but, but speaking is, again, we'll, we'll hear from our money wide open. Talk about a busted coverage with Damian Washington. Touchdown. Touchdown How here. about 75 yards from years. Corbin Burkstresser? And the score. That's Green Beckham, bottom of your screen. And Burkstress will try to fight his way into the end zone, and he's in. Corbin Burkstresser for the touchdown. Three-point ball game. What's that? 29 is the lead for the Aggies here as we're a couple of minutes. Quarter number four. Manti Teo making things interesting for the Heisman race. But I'm, uh, I'm I'm quite shocked that Manziel is still playing here in the fourth quarter. I just think you're playing with fire. Why, why any type of injury, even if you're just going to hand it off the rest of the game? Trey Williams, the ball carrier that time, and especially on a night in which Manziel trophy finished ninth in the voting his year, the year Carson Palmer took home the trophy. Manziel on the run as usual and got a target down at the one-yard line. It's Kenrick McNeil. 32 on the game. Looks like a baseball player picking up a ball, running across it, and he was a sensational. Johnny Menzel was a sensational baseball player in high school, but he has that ability to, to get velocity on a ball while he's on the run very well. Speaking of the run, he's trying to run that one in. There's your second, there's your third effort. Reached across. There's the signal touchdown. Are you kidding me? That play was stopped. You're done, and then you put your helmet back on. And maybe they were going for the show. Manziel just handed off. And now he will run off the field to glorious applause and a standing ovation by the 87,222 in attendance, the eighth best crowd in Kyle Field history. Yep. Marquis was there you go, of course. And well deserved. What a wonderful first year for Kevin Sumlin. I, I got to know Kevin while he was at Oklahoma and covered him while I was at Houston. He, he good man, good head coach. You know, I, I know they lost two games, but really could not have gotten any better this season. No. Really couldn't have. And you come in and, and Kevin Sumlin and his staff did a wonderful job of being sensitive to the fact that they were taking over a program that these players were not that might be that guy <laughs> next year. Come next year. Handshakes and hugs at the center of the field. It's all good for AM tonight. The ninth ranked Aggies put a hurting on Mizzou 59 29. Johnny Football accounts for five touchdowns tonight. Final score, a and 59, Missouri 29. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Ed and Kaylee, thanks for letting me hang around for some college football tonight. I'm Steve Levy. We head back to the studio. Wendy Nix standing by for the college football scoreboard. Wendy, take it away.